Hi, my name is Jan Demange, I'm the director of 71. This is Gary Hook, played by Jack O'Connell, and uh, towards the end of the latter part of the film, when he's being brought on the Divis Flats, which is this amazing piece of brutalist architecture that was on the Lower Falls Road in the heart of Belfast and the heart of the Troubles. And um, it's a sort of a game of cat and mouse. Just the whole pace of the film slows down. I mean, it's quite counterintuitive to do that in the final act of a film, especially when at the beginning of the film it's so visceral and fast and there's a really fast-paced chase. I thought that if we to try and keep that up throughout the whole film, that it would get rhythmically monotonous. So actually counterintuitively, we slow things right down. And we borrow the lighting and the camera work. It's almost like horror. We slip into a different genre here, distancing ourselves from realism. So here he's trying, he's trying to get a, away from me. It's like a cat and mouse pursuit. He's trying to get away from uh, one of his pursuers. And um, purely because of logistics, I had to end up shooting these sequences the, on the very first week. And um, before I'd even shot any dialogue scenes or any day scenes. So I worked closely with the composer David Holmes and got him to write a score prior to filming. And I was actually listening to the music on my headphones as I was filming the sequence. And it helped give me a sense of atmosphere, a sense of tone, a sense of pace. And this bit is, he's hiding from his pursuer and he's pulled a knife out. For the very first time, Gary Hook is a very passive character. He pulls a knife and he's contemplating having to do something. And at that point, I thought it'd be really interesting to, for him to be confronted with a child because one of the major themes of the film is children growing up in conflict. And we saw this amazing girl with, with red hair and I was like, well, she has to be in the film. 